Bonjour, bonjour, Shopify world. My name is Andrew from ecomexperts.io. Got the green hoodie, so we're gonna do some coding. And in this video, we are gonna to show you how you can display a little message to say how many elements there are left in stock. We're gonna jump into code for this, and this is useful if you wanna create some scarcity and push up your sales by showing how many are there still left in stock. All right, let's jump straight to our online store right here. Um, so welcome in our little online store. Let me first show you how it currently looks. I can go to products. I will go to the color product because I'm tracking the stock on the color product. So it makes the most sense there. I do view. And as you can see, I have no idea how many black, yellow and red are currently in stock. All right, so I'm going to close all of that and we're going to get to work. In the description below, right next to the subscribe button, you will have a link. And on the link, we explain to you exactly what pieces of code you need to paste and where you need to paste them. So you, I'm just going to copy that code from that document and paste it inside. Before you start, and this is super important, especially on this video, is that you make a duplicate of your theme. If you're not going to make a duplicate of your theme, stop right here. Stop watching this video. It's not worth it. Don't even try. We're going to be playing in the JavaScript and the chances of you messing up in the JavaScript are real. By having a backup version, you can just always rely on your backup in case you mess up and you don't have to hire a developer. And so you're going to save a lot of money. So please make a duplicate before you do anything else. We're going to do that by going to online store right here. And then on the online store, we're going to create an actions and we're going to say duplicate. It's going to take a second and the theme is duplicating as you can see right here. And here is the duplicate version being created. Okay, the copy is done and we are going to be working on this version right here. So not on our live version, but on our duplicate version. Again, in case we mess up, it doesn't affect the live version. Great, you got that, okay, great. So you can just click on actions right here and you can click on edit code. Welcome in the code editor. And right here on the left side, we're going to go down to sections. If you don't have sections on your Shopify store, it is time to update your theme. I don't have a video for that. You're going to have to contact your theme producer, the person that built your theme and ask them how to update it. We do it for a fixed fee as well. So you can always reach out to us. Anyway, in these sections right here, we're going to go into product template, um, which is right here, product-template.liquid. We're going to click on it. And basically this is our product page, sort of. So the next element is we're going to copy and paste the HTML code saying how many items left in inventory. Now it's kind of up to us where we want to put that piece of code on the product page. Um, I like to put it right above the add to card button. And to do that, we can do command F on a Mac or control F on windows. There is this little search box that will pop up and we can type in BTN. So we're looking for buttons. And here it says, here is an, a button, but this button has a class, link, medium up, height, thumbnail, slider. That does not look like our add to cart button. So we type in enter again. It's going to show us another BTN and another BTN. You can see now we're selecting this one. If we type enter yet again, oh, here we go. Button type, button class, link, medium up, thumbnail slider, that still doesn't look like a add to cart. So let's type enter a couple of more times. We're selecting through them. Here's another button. Button type submit. Ah, this looks like an add to cart button. Um, name add or yeah. So this is, oh, here you go. Product form submit. You see, these are our terms related to an add to cart button. So it's pretty safe to say that this button is our add to cart button. That's the little code for our add to cart button. So if we want to put it above it, well, you just click right before the start of the code. You hit enter a couple of times. So you create some space. 
And then in the empty space, make sure it's 100% empty. So not here, because then you're in this block of code, which is something else, right? For example, here or here, you're going to paste the codes that I've provided in step one. There you go. And there is a nice little commenting right here that says inventory tracking on product page. Basically, this code says it looks at the variant ID inventory. Um, if there's only one, uh, we have current variant inventory quantity. So there is like one or five. It checks the quantity uh, in stock. Okay, now that that is pasted, we can save it. Now, in case you don't have variants on your products, you're pretty much good to go for this part. There's still more code you need to add. Now, in case you have variants on your product, so just as our color product, there is multiple variants, or if you sell t-shirts, the sizes and the colors, those are all variants. If you have variants on your product, you need to add a little bit more of code right here. Um, so let's do that right now. We're going to be pasting that piece of code right above what we've just pasted here. So that's um, in step 1.2, I guess, in the document. We're going to hit paste. And this is basically making sure that our little this product is available or showing how many there are still in stock um, works for all of the variants on your uh, product. If you don't have variants, don't worry about this little piece of code. If you do have variants, you need to paste that in. Okay, cool. Now let's click on save. The next step is where it gets a little bit tricky. We're going to scroll all the way down here on the left and we're going to go to assets. In assets, we're going to look for the JavaScript file. So team.js, not vendor, not VNC, something like not password, something like theme, something global. If you don't have theme, then try to look for a global name. Theme is, is pretty global. Uh, password is just one little fraction of your of your site. Anyway, you get the point. Theme.js. Now I'm having the debut team just um, for your reference. And again, here we're going to do Command F on a Mac or Control F on Windows, and the search bo box will pop up. Now in the document, I provided a little term called variant change. We're looking for variant change in this folder. Now. I have two of them, but I am on the debut team. So for you, this might be a little bit different, but on the debut team, there should be two of them out of the box. I'm going to tell you the lines, but the lines is really just rough because if someone entered and added a little uh, spacing somewhere, then the line numbers will be off. So use the not line numbers just as a reference. I have a variant change around line number 6,431 and I have another one um, and I have an, another variant change around line number 742. We need the one that's around a line number 742. And Basically, this little comment says exactly what this piece of code does. Uh, it's an event handler for when a variant input changes. So when someone clicks on a different variant, that's an event handler. It's going to trigger a new picture and a new price and this and that. And this is the little piece of code that does that. Now we need to add our little piece of code to check the inventory of this new variant that the person has just clicked on. In order to do that, we need to insert our code in this block. You see, this entire block talks about event handler for variant input changes, like I said. So our code needs to be in here. This little curly bracket signifies the end of that code. But we're going to put it here. Right after if variant then return, we're going to do a couple of spaces to create some space and then we're going to be pasting our first line of code. That should look something like this, paste. Let inventory hash equal to document dot query selector all inventory management and then a little debugger line. Perfect. We're going to hit enter a couple of times and then we're going to paste the other piece of code that's right below it paste there you go this is what we just have added and now what's going to happen is when we click on a different variant 
the system, the code should understand that we're clicking on a different variant, that we're not on the black t-shirt, but we're on the red t-shirt now, and should understand to go check the inventory for the red t-shirt. So we click on save. Okay, now this is done we should be all good to go. So we're going to go in our online store. Remember that we have made our changes on the copy of the debut team. If something is broken now or if something doesn't work, that's no big deal because it doesn't affect our live theme, so you don't need to panic. So we're just going to click right here on actions and we're going to click on preview to see if it works correctly. Uh, now I have to find my product where I tracked the inventory, which was the color product. Um, right here, colors. We have one black in stock. We have one yellow in stock. And we have two red in stock. Does that make sense? Let's go see with the actual product right here, colors. We have one black, one yellow, and two red. Okay, let's change this to eight, um, like this. We save it. Then we can make sure it works right here. So yellow, there's eight in stock now. And if we refresh black, we have indeed one. Yellow, we have eight in stock. And red, we have two in stock. So it works perfectly. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video made sense. Please don't forget to duplicate your team. The code you will find below in the description. Make sure to subscribe because it means the world to us. And make sure to check out for more green hoodie videos from me where we talk about code or some strategy videos where you can make more money by just doing upsells and things like that. We're, we're literally, we're printing money. That's what we're doing. Thanks a lot. I love you all. And I see you in a video, other video. Adios.